Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Uh, putting up some video from the Philippines about storm drains and comparing the two types of systems to what we use here in the U.S. Uh, versus what they do in the Philippines. Take a look. So here's a typical swell that looks just like ours. This is in the Philippines in a town called Hinatun. This looks almost exactly the same as any road here in the U.S. Water runs off the road, goes down into the canal to the channel, and is carried away. I asked Flora to show me the storm drains in her hometown, and this is what she sent. And it's really amazing. As we go through this video, you'll see it's a lot different than what we do. So to start, do you remember many years ago, the Weather Channel used to describe thunderstorms as, you know, cloud tops, how high the storm actually is. And it was measured in feet, you know, 60,000, 70,000. You know, here in Florida and there in the Philippines, huge thunderstorms because it heats up so dramatically. When we get a thunderstorm here in Florida, it's usually three to five inches in less than an hour. Same thing takes place in the Philippines tremendous amounts of rain tremendous amounts of rain we use swales on the side of the road to collect that water that comes off of the road and send it to you know the lakes and the rivers and the reservoirs here in this coastal town all the storm water of course runs out to the ocean so what we're looking at is coming into town and you'll notice that there's a lot of construction on both sides but on the side she's showing you for the storm drain they're actually putting together rebarb and they're going to cover this and it'll be an actual channel drain and it'll act as a sidewalk with grates on the top because at first glance it sure looks unsafe just like our roads in your hometown i'm sure you have them too you know you've got that road and you've got that swell right beside the road and if you ran off the road you'd run right into that swell you'd be stuck all swales work the same way you know there's really not that much fall in any of these water fills up the swale and begins to flow you can see how they created the channel and they've got the culvert going under the road that's actually leading out to the ocean and she's walking across just to show you where she'll show you the water and again there's nothing on this side other than just a creek just a small runoff and it runs all the way out to the ocean as we come into town you can see this channel is filled up with grass and debris we have they have the same problem as us we have to maintain that channel luckily you can see it's raining and the the water from the road drops into that channel and it is carried away remember it's actually going back the other direction all of this channel runs back out of town and then turns and runs into the ocean look on the corners you see how the water drops into the channels so the new plan is to actually run concrete so that it's solid from the road over to these buildings and they'll put grates on there to allow the water to drop into the system it's a great system that they've come up with at present if we walk along closely you'll see downspout drains coming from the roofs and they all drop down into this system and that water is carried away it's exactly like ours and I think that once they can once they complete this you can see there's a piece of the grate that they've got going on and of course they've been removed for whatever reason same problem we have in our country but once this renovation is completed and they have the, all the new grates put in and they clean this all out again this is going to work great and it's i like this idea i think that we should be doing the same thing and again you've got to maintenance any type of drain you can see all the overgrowth that's going on you can also see what happens to their foundations if you look closely you'll see how cracked those walls are those are block walls and there's movement there and that's all due to the system backing up as you look around the town you'll notice if you look carefully you're going to see the same thing all through the town here it's very narrow and it's a little deep allowing that water to flood up and begin to flow and what she's looking for 
is, of course, she finds some flowers that always catches her eye. But what she's looking for to show us is some downspout drains. And she did finally find some of those. You'll notice that all the grates have been removed here because that system needs cleaned on both sides of the road. And it's just like here, you know, we have things on a maintenance. They have a storm water department and they clean things when they get to them. Sometimes it takes a little longer, sometimes not. There's a downspout there. Here's another one there on the corner. All these downspouts, they come down, they drop into this channel, and that water is carried away, it drops into the storm drain. Downspout drains in any country, they need to go out to the street. That is where they belong. And when you get that water away from your foundation, you have no problems. So here's the example of the roof drain, the downspout drain. And you can see one of them's underground, one of them they haven't covered it up. It just comes across a channel. Another example, two more that are tied together and come out to the channel drain. But this is where it starts to get different. Notice what they did. They actually created a sidewalk that runs all over top of the storm drain. And of course, they're still working. They're still under construction. And you can see the, the knockouts. You'll see one up here that they've already exposed. There'll be grates here to allow that water to drop into the system. You can also see the holes on the side. They're gonna allow that water to run off the road and drop directly down into the storm drain. This is a great idea. And the contractor that's doing this for the city is doing a great job. It looks like any other construction site, as we dig along our roads, you can see the same thing. But rather than being an open ditch swell, they've enclosed that into a channel drain. Do they have the capability of cleaning this line in the future? Well, they must. They must have the same thing as us. They must have vectors and jetters that can come and clean this out, because otherwise the system would back up. So just now, Flora called me a video call, and I asked her, have you ever seen a truck like this anywhere in the Philippines? She said no. So that means they don't have the capability of cleaning their newly made channel. What she told me was that here in the Philippines, they create all new drainage, but they never clean it. So that's kind of typical, I guess, of a small country, a small town um, that doesn't have a lot of money. But being self-employed, you know what that tells me? That tells me that there's a huge opportunity for a business here in any town in the Philippines. Perhaps in Manila, they've got, you know, factors and jetters, um, those type of things to clean the lines. But out here, this is a small uh, province right on the ocean. The town doesn't have that much money, and those trucks are very expensive. But I just thought it was really interesting what she showed us here. Um, the construction of storm drains, you know, road drainage. We have, you know, our Department of Transportation and we dig these ditches along the side. In all countries, they do the same thing. And you can see the construction. It's quite, quite well put together. Um, a lot of guys working, you know, all at the same time to get this done. You'll see mud pumps. Um, they're, you know, tying all of the steel together and then they're going to form that concrete, pour it, just like we do. But the difference is they actually cover it and create a sidewalk. And I think that is a very interesting idea and much safer to drive along the road than as it is in our country. Remember, everything needs maintenance. Nothing lasts forever. And it's interesting how they're designing this uh, because, as she said, she's never seen anybody ever come out and try to clean these storm drains. Ever. And I guess the evidence of that in town, and they're renovating that. They're going to put all new grates back across the channels. But you can see how overgrown it was. So they're building all this without any way to actually clean it. And I guess that kind of surprises me. Um, even in our country, you know, we would not build something unless we could maintain that system. But again, to me, it just looks like a golden opportunity for a business. And granted, those vectors are very expensive, but with one vector, you could work all day, all night, employ several people, and you could create quite a business in the Philippines with a vector. 
So a quick thank you to Flora for sending us all this video. And I hope she sends some more. There's so many things that she's doing there. I can't wait to show you all the things that she does. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.